Last but certainly not least is FGCU, which last year won the league in the regular season and the tournament, and this year is picked to win it again. Their head coach is Joe Dooley. And Joe, tell me what it meant last year to win an NCAA tournament booth for the second time since taking over there. Well, I think we had a little bit more experience of a team last year, and I think that being able to win both the regular season and the conference tournament was a really good accomplishment for our program. So I think everybody was really excited, especially our players, and uh, I think it was a pretty good accomplishment. You've got a lot of that group back, including Brandon Goodwin. Tell me what the conference preseason player of the year has meant to your program so far and how he makes your team better this year. Well, I think Brandon really, uh, the biggest thing he brings is toughness. I think he's one of those guys that, his effort is consistent day in and day out in practice. I think that the other guys draw confidence from his toughness. Uh, I do think he's a great worker, which also helps. And I think the other guys have tried to emulate what he's done uh, as far as work ethic. How does Zach Johnson compliment him? He's also a preseason all-conference player. Well, Zach, you know, with his physical ability and strength, I think those guys really complement uh, each other very well because they're physical, they're athletic, uh, they can create shots for each other, and they can create shots for themselves, which I think really helps us. You've got, always have had a real good inside-out balance. You did lose a couple players in Mark Eddie Norelia and uh, Demetrius Morant, but it looks like you have some pretty able fill-ins, guys who, are, who transferred in. Well, I think, uh, and Travis Simmons was hurt a lot of last year, and I think he's had a great preseason, and uh, Ray Sean Scott has made a, a, a big jump between his freshman and sophomore year. We're excited about Ray, and uh, we've also got some depth. We know we'll get Michael Gilmore eligible, and we get Ricky Doyle eligible. Those guys have played major college games, so they're, they'll definitely be able to help us, and Brady Ernst is definitely a young man that we're, we're excited about, as well as Brian Thomas. So we've got a lot of depth up front that we're going to try to use. You know, I spoke with Jacksonville about this as well. You both have had to deal with some early season adversity with Irma. How did it impact your, your preparation for the upcoming season, and how did it maybe help the guys bond because they had to deal with some adversity? Well, I think the big thing is we were lucky. I mean, there wasn't a lot of damage uh, here on campus. I mean, we've missed a couple of weeks of, of workouts, but it was an inconvenience. It wasn't a problem. I mean, our guys were all safe, which we were fortunate. And uh, although we lost some days, we, you know, if that's going to make a difference in the season, then we're not that good anyway. You've always challenged yourselves with the out-of-conference schedule. This year, no different. Uh, tell us about your, your out-of-conference schedule with six top 40 RPI opponents. Well, we, we're fortunate. I mean, we opened up with Illinois State, who had a great RPI last year. We've got Wichita State. We've got Middle Tennessee twice during the, same, uh, during the season. Uh, Texas Arlington is, is terrific. Rhode Island, we were fortunate enough to get Rhode Island in a home-and-home -home series starting up at Rhode Island this year. Uh, the, the rest of the team, Siena, is very good, obviously, every year. Bowling Green, we, we've got a very competitive schedule to prepare us for the A-Sun. As Joe Dooley mentioned, FGCU will begin its preparation for the upcoming year, starting against Illinois State on November the 11th.